How many Lutherans does it take to change a light bulb? Change? Maybe you know from experience or you've heard that some Christian groups are very resistant to change. We don't like changing. We like things staying the way they are. And yet God calls on us to change. All last week we looked at repentance. And whether or not you realize it, repentance means change. It means changing my attitude and my mind and my actions. Because I see that Jesus is better than any sin. And that I want to stay with him. Now as much as I might laugh at how resistant my church body may be to change, there are certain things that we don't want to change. And this week we're going to look at the things that can't change. And the first thing we're going to look at comes from the book of Deuteronomy, where God himself says, Do not add to what I command you, and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of the Lord your God. Don't change the law that God gives. And maybe that's kind of a duh, but we do add and we do subtract. See, we often subtract when God says something and we say, No, it's not that bad. That, that's just a little white lie. You know, what I do with my girlfriend behind closed doors, that doesn't really matter. You know, God says love, but I think being nice is a lot better than loving, don't you? And, and so we take away from God's law. And sometimes we add, too. Can't have drums in church. Well, you know, if you really love God, you would. And, and this is what we do. But if we're going to not change God's law, you know what you need to know? You need to know what God said in the first place. Because if you do not know it, you're going to change it without ever even intending to. Which means we need to be rooted in God's word and see what he actually says. Not what our culture around us says, and not even what our church culture says, but what God's word says every time, all the time. And as we do that, I want you to realize that you're probably going to despair because we can't keep God's law. God's law shows how far short we fall. I want you to remember that the purpose of the law is to point us to our need for a Savior. And that that Savior has come. That Jesus has come to rescue you, even for all the things you should change and don't. And because he has done that, let's not change the law.